Good morning, good afternoon, or, or good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is another interview of Hemp Engineering, and I have the great pleasure having with us Mr. Chetan and Mr. Karan Sarsar. Welcome, Welcome to Hemp Engineering Show. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Ramon. Yes, yes. Uh, and I had the extraordinary pleasure of meeting Mr. Chetan through Mr. Karan Sarsar in the last Indian Hemp Expo held two weeks ago. And I must confess that your product, it was something that most people dream of. And most people simply believe that it can be possible, but no one has actually achieved what you guys have done. First okay. is to produce the fuel itself, and then having Karan drive from Pune to Mumbai and the other way around. And believe me, we if I were me, I would have two hours, just a two hour session, just talking to you about the session and all the results that you have at hand. But I must ask you first, how did you end up in the hemp business? How did you team up with the idea of producing a hemp fuel? Yeah, uh, basically we are in this uh, business from last 20 years and uh, continuously pro providing services for biodiesel feed. But this is a miracle oil which we found out. We have uh, manufactured more than uh, 40 plus oil with 40 plus oil. But hemp oil attracts us because um, after uh, converting, as it is having more oxygen content into it, so because of that, we are getting really a very less or no uh, carbon emission coming out of from the tailpipe. So, uh, and that has been tested by us and uh, we have the result with that. And uh, hemp oil do have a lot of good other properties uh, by which we, uh, the performance of vehicle uh, goes really good. So this, this is a very catchy point. Uh, for us and hemp oil has been used from so long time in ancient time and uh, uh, the same same approach uh, considering the same approach we would like to develop and see that uh, how it is moving and as you see the how much uh, uh, encouragement we are getting after we are publishing to the uh, media yes yes and that is one of the things that most caught my attention because uh, I, I i did something naive quite honestly i you know i express my feelings in regards of what i see and out of the blue we got over one million views my brother that was yeah yeah thank you thank you yes, yes. and it's still growing because last time That's i checked it was over one million and fifty views so yeah, yeah. Uh, Look, um, um, I do understand from a previous meeting that we had with another client or potential client uh, that um, the characteristics of hemp compared with other biomass are overwhelming for the amount of oxygen that captures and, and, and the way that the act, that hemp behave itself in, during the fermentation to become biodiesel. Can you tell us a little bit more about this, please? Yeah, basically the processes are simple. Uh, as as you as I mentioned that I do have a complete process patent in biodiesel uh, by selectivity mode of uh, using enzyme, and the, with the same uh, thing we have developed the biodiesel. So converting biodiesel from any oil is not a very new technology, mm -hmm. but the content means like see this is where as you see this is very unknown oil to the uh, world. Like hemp biodiesel, hardly people have heard about it. There are many reasons that why people have not done the research earlier, because the cost of the fuel is little, uh, cost of the oil itself is on higher side and uh, other uh, regulation to the world. But uh, as we see, this is really a miracle oil, which is available across world, because the way we, we have uh, tested out in a vehicle, in 2016, also, we have a trial with B20 blend. We got zero carbon emission on 31st uh, May to, uh, 2016. 
and uh, the same we have repeated over here uh, while driving the car from pune uh, to mumbai and uh, we are again uh, encounter the same result the performance is uh, increase uh, a lot than if we compare with any other regular biodiesel with the hemp oil hemp biodiesel and uh, any even though we compare this with the uh, other uh, we wanted to compare this with the other hydrogenated vegetable oil which might be coming in, in near future so hemp biodiesel itself has a very good property within oil itself and it pass on when it uh, converted to the methyl ester which is biodiesel and the glycerin which is coming out which is a by product it is having very good uh, uh, nutritious values we can use that is in the pharma and that uh, this pharma industry also can be benefited the blends and there is there is very uh, wide scope available for developing of this uh, biodiesel hemp biodiesel so in from ancient point means like as i mentioned uh, mentioned earlier also that from ancient point this oil is been used uh, in india even though for the if we compare for the in uh, shushruta is a uh, ancient uh, surgeon who uh, who did the sur uh, surgery and there are few evidences available wherein uh, this hemp oil is been used for the uh, human consumption and from oh. that time uh, till now it is been there so same properties that this oil do have so such a great properties available and which has been now proven for any uh, uh, medicinal uh, uh, thing it is already proven and it has been uh, started getting used uh, worldwide but at the same time when we convert this to the fuel uh, we are also observing the same uh, qualities because i have uh, checked uh, almost uh, n number of uh, feedstock like um yellow grease animal tallow uh, then uh, soya oil acid oils and those oils when i convert it uh, and uh, when i check the their performances versus hemp performance there is a huge gap between the performances the hemp uh, performance nobody can beat it hemp wow. biodiesel performance nobody can beat it that's wow. what i uh, i have seen in my experience um i please correct me if i am wrong but this fuel can it be used for for gasoline engines and diesel engines yeah this biodiesel oh, uh, this is the hem biodiesel and this can be only been uh, used in replacement of diesel okay so we can we can use we can blend it with uh, like uh, b20 b10 b30 blend i can further uh, suggest because the, uh, as the viscosities are very good uh, then city numbers are good uh, then uh, your carbon cloud points are good densities are good so this can be directly been uh, go up to more than 80% or maybe 100% without changing in the car but as uh, we, are, we are slowly developing this process so we we are recommending that we can go up to b20 blend with the diesel So if I am, if I understand what we're talking, you are basically ready to build plants anywhere on earth as long as the hemp farm is able to feed the plant, right? Yeah. So we can able to supply complete technology along with everything uh, to any industry if the feedstock is available yeah. and we can convert. Because see. the technology wise we do have uh, expertise and we can easily uh, supply our technology to uh, any uh, any uh, funding or uh, uh, funding company or any client that is not an uh, means like that easily can be doable the thing what we are actually uh, seeing over here is that uh, the raw material availability if the raw material is abundantly available definitely there is very uh, good scope and this is going to add a value means like this is not a conventional diesel or conventional uh, conventional biodiesel this is having some miracle values within this uh, this thing 
our vision and our motto is that we wanted to show world that this miracle oil do have capability and this has to be because nobody has done the, this type of research until now very very less or very few people are do, doing it so we wanted to add value and we wanted to tell world that this uh, uh, biodiesel him biodiesel can add very good uh, carbon footprint it do have very good uh, carbon reduction properties and uh, other other benefits are good property wise and emission we are actually reducing uh, can we able to reduce down the emission uh, with this well uh, the way i see Ch uh, chitan and karan is that any island on earth any small country on earth that is depending purely on on uh, fusil, uh, um, petroleum to do to get their gasoline or those co little countries that are importing gasoline for their industrial park. This is yeah, a call for, of independence. This is a call for many countries to look at the possibility of obtaining your your work to build a plan in with in their in their countries and start changing <clears throat> the the face of what we're doing. Yeah. Any country that is able to grow 5,000 hectares <clears throat> per year will have enough feed to, to make this plant growing and satisfy the local demand. Yeah. That's what I see in this technology, a technology yeah. that can help humanity in many ways beyond the fact of the medicine and other benefits that you're explaining countries such as Indonesia, Malaysia, well, Malaysia is all oil and gas company, <clears throat> um, but countries in the Caribbean that they all, they, that they don't have gas in, in, the, in, in Central America, there is no gasoline, my brother, no gasoline, everything is important. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. So, so when I hear to you and when I hear Karan about, about this dream that is materializing, my heart is start popping like a little kid because like uh, when I first met you, I come from the oil and gas industry. I know how hard it is to break through. And yeah. between us and the audience that will be listening to us, oh, you don't want to know what they told me. Ramon, you better start getting a bodyguard. Ramon, I don't think you're going to be living too long after this. That's, oh, my God. What? The... <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. if they're going to kill me, they're going to kill a lot of people, not all of us, not just me. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are getting such a good overwhelming response from the uh, across the globe yes. about our him biodiesel and uh, i really wanted to uh, through this media i really wanted to say thank you who, who are uh, directly indirectly supporting us to grow this hemp uh, industry uh, recently i did, uh, i speak uh, over um, in the international conference which is uh, yes. held uh, here here in mumbai uh, in grand hair oil and fat industry so we have uh, already given uh, told about this approach that uh, please support us to grow this hemp industry not only in india per, uh, uh, but across the uh, globe <laughs> yes yes but I, quite honestly, from after you talked, I guess the main burden that we need to overcome, not just in India, but worldwide, is the prohibition itself, the understanding of, of, of what this plant can do for humanity. And I, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't, I didn't spend much time in India as I thought, but your patriotism, the way that you guys love your country, the way that you are so proud of yourself. I see a second independence, an independence of energy, an energy that, man, you got no idea how proud I am. I feel so blessed having you, met you both. And especially Karan, that Karan has, is a warrior, you know, yeah, young yeah. boy, but he's a warrior. and. No, he is doing a really great and I'm uh, glad to have him in team. Uh, 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 being a passion as an entrepreneur with a uh, young, 
yes young entrepreneur from the college he has, he has been dream, having a dream and uh, i am mentoring him to uh, support the world and he is doing really a great he has been uh, developed so many products which yes. we have uh, got it we got two national awards uh, from the government of india and it's really a good uh, way to do it so it's uh, it's a good inspiration for the new uh, engineers who are coming out yes. of out of the uh, here in india or across globe that they can learn the, this thing that there is very good possibility if we started chasing our dream so yes every everywhere we need to have a patience patience yes. is a key role of success yes. what i uh, strongly believe it and he he is trying to do uh, this thing so from 2015 16 we have been in uh, this business and now we are in uh, seven years we have done so many products uh, for the hem and uh, uh, people are love, love it and they wanted to know more and more about it so uh, definitely we would like to support from all extent who are very interested to join join our hand um i would then like to end up this um, uh, interview yeah uh, talking uh, about your mentor that you introduced me to me in your office Yes, definitely. You know what? Uh, it was really lovely uh, when I had met him through one of uh, the connects uh, from my college, uh, who had introduced me to Mr. Chetan Sainka. Back then, he was working with ERG Industries, ERG Biodiesel Industry. So it was the uh, world's second largest uh, biodiesel company from USA. So back then, when uh, I told him about my vision related to him. he was completely amazed like we had a brief uh, meeting of at least one and a half uh, hour right yes yeah. sir yes yes, yes. Uh, later on we concluded that let's start off this uh, uh venture mission impossible which is quite possible uh, with the belief that we could actually achieve zero carbon emission yeah. and uh, letting you all know that uh, finally we have completed the biodiesel analysis uh, the vehicle gave an uh, mileage or average of 16 kilometers per liter on the hemp biodiesel wow. which is which is an increase of 40% yeah. it's incredible. incredible incredible result wow and you just compared to my run You just blow my mind. This is no, a revolution, my brother. We are soon going to release the videos which uh, we took during the trials and the runs from Pune to Mumbai, coming back and right now running around the city. So we are soon going to share that with you all, everyone, and so that the world gets to see it practically. Secondly, uh, the overall uh, emissions have uh, reduced. like currently the diesel emissions that we had with the conventional diesel was uh, 2.4 value whereas it went down to 50% decrement where the machine could not give out zero carbon emission because uh-huh. it was set in a way yeah, it's it's it, a stick in a way it didn't analyze wow it is wow. analyzed Wow! So it is almost zero carbon emission. Wow. The last thing that wow. it could give was one point one percent. Wow! I mean, and so then on, basically we are talking about most of the people are talking about reduction of sustainability, carbon reduction, and all that. This is a real solution, immediate solution available without changing anything within your vehicle, within a, a, any part. So this this is a real immediate solution available. So if world come uh, together, definitely we can uh, reduce down this carbon emissions and um, uh, actually air quality index can be uh, drastically uh, come down. So I from this media I would like to tell everyone that please join your hand for this hemp movement. by which we can able to uh, really uh, give a good future for kids and uh, for um, uh, the future generation i quite honestly chitan and kran countries like brazil argentina peru 
Chile, they have no oil. Half of the countries in, uh, in Africa, they have no oil and they have no access to oil. But, but on the other hand, they have large extensions of uh, land to grow hemp. And I, I guess in this moment, we need we need the fundings, we need the investments, we need we need the governments to open the wallet to start to start solving a problem that you guys have already solved. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. I must congratulate you once again. Thank you. Thank you for for Thank you. for everything, brother. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot thanks a lot uh, uh, thank you this, this is your tribune this is your platform to speak the next meeting will be with Karan that is has been a, a pending meeting since last week but yeah. a lot of things have been happening personally speaking yeah. but I know that we are we are we are one people my brother yeah, yeah. absolutely now yeah. Now, even though that you, even though that I have not taken a role uh, on this regards, I'm naming myself your your business manager to start promoting this worldwide. Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely, you can. you can. Yes, yes, my brother. Thank you very much. Unless thank you got something else to add, uh, Karam Chatan, Chatan, you could you like yeah. something else to? Would you like to send a message to your government on this regard? Yes. So, uh, in the uh, currently, if we talked about hemp industry, as it is a growing industry, definitely it is adding values uh, to the uh, benefits of in all seg segments. And as you see, that we have developed so many products, but. The feedstock crunch is one of the biggest uh, thing which need to be get solved. Like, see, if you talked about the hemp biodiesel, it is being done. Everything is very good. We have tested reports and uh, everything is nice. But at the same time, if the raw material cost and this is unbearable, that, that is not possible to have a sustainable model for uh, uh, consider to this, even though it is having very good properties, the same applicable to everywhere. It means like if we talked about cloth, if we talked about uh, anything, whatever products we have developed, like helmet you have seen and all those other products. So my request to the go uh, government is that, please try to understand the importance of this thing, which has been uh, proven uh, from ancient time. And in government started giving us a, good benchmarking and uh, proper supply chain management for raw material, then there is a very re really a good uh, uh, new generation can able to see and uh, they can able to breathe. Uh, 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 yeah, clean, uh, clean, clean air. Yeah, I agree with you. So, I had the opportunity mm -hmm. to visit New Delhi, uh, Mumbai. And I believe we just focusing to replace the current fuel by hemp fuel in just those two cities in less than 10 years, those those cities couldn't have any pollution at all. At least yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's my thinking. Yeah. Look, um, once again, thank you very much. Thank you very um, much. Thank you, Ramon. Welcome to yeah. Hemp Engineering, my brother, and let's make this happen. Yes, absolutely. Let's, Let's have, get the governments of the of the whole world to start opening their wallets and get yeah. your companies to start building more plants around the world. That's what we need. Sure, definitely. Thank you. Love and Thanks peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.